Hi guys, welcome back. Today I want to share this cheap and lag efficient sugarcane farm concept with you. It's also really fun to watch, so let's have a look and try it out. The first thing that happens is that we would dispense hopper minecarts and they would be placed on, you know, on top of those detector rails there. So they just go through the mud blocks and then the next rail is pushed in line. Once all of them are in the holding spots, the trapdoors open, the minecarts drop down and it would land here on trapdoors and a flying machine launches. So all the sugarcane blocks are broken, uh, turned into items and are immediately picked up by the hopper minecarts. So as you can see here, they fill up and at the end the minecarts are dropped off and I'm, yeah, the flying machine returns back. And again in a holding cell real quick and then we have a repeater line here sending him off one after the other. And the minecarts just go to an yeah, an unloader. So this is a 1.19 system. It quickly breaks the minecart and they're placed back into the yeah, chest here that feeds the dispenser. Alright, there we go. It's already done. So here you could now pick up your sugarcane or have this somewhere go to your storage. So the big advantage of this sugar farm concept is that it's hardly causing any lag while it's not actively housing the sugarcane. And it's also relatively cheap to build. So the only lag causes, if you look at it, are just those couple hoppers here that would yeah, refeed the dispenser with the hopper minecarts. Uh, you could also technically also lock those to reduce lag even further, but three hoppers won't cause any significant lag in the first place. So yeah, the big advantage is compared to older versions is that we can now store the, yeah, the minecarts in item form instead of having them open all the time. So if you break them, instead of dropping as a minecart and a hopper, now we get the hopper minecart. It's also relatively cheap to build this farm, especially if you would make it even larger. So I kept it relatively small here, but you could easily just make it longer. And then the only effort it would yeah, scale up would be placing dirt, sugar cane, and some kind of water source. I'm just using the waterlocked leaves now, which is also quite convenient in 1.19. It's also really convenient that we don't need to place a ton of rails here under the dirt for the hopper minecarts to collect the items, since we just place the other minecarts on the flying machine directly. And of course, we don't need a ton of one wide tileable unloading systems. So all the minecarts get unloaded by just a singular minecart unloading system. So this could be the perfect type of farm you could build in your mega base if you want to, because it's hardly causing any lag. So in case you want to have a lot of farms in one place, this would be the perfect design for it. So I also made sure that it's easy to expand. So there's no inherent logic that would restrict it to being 24 wide. So I'm using two flying machines, but you can just use more flying machines. Also the flying machine pushes here in front don't need to be six wide. You can also go a bit smaller if you want to. So you can build this basically in any size. Yeah, in length, you can always expand it as well. Um, okay, so the only thing you need to make sure is that you have enough uh, a storage in your chest here for the hopper minecarts. But yeah, that's about it. Apart from that, it's easily tidable. We can also check it out. Also added a clock for it. So the perfect clock would be a 41 minute clock for this. So this would be just a normal hopper clock with three stacks of items in it. And then I'm using uh, four binary counters. Okay, um, let's actually check out the farm again. So how it works. So the first thing I actually do is basically retract this piston. This allows the sticky piston here to push up the observer. Then we create an observer clock that would uh, trigger the dispenser every eight ticks. Okay, then we just dispense a lot of minecarts. And then yeah, here we use the system here with the mud. So the mud is not, not a full block. Um, so if you stand on it compared to other blocks, you sink a little bit in, which is really important yeah, for this um, rail trick. So if we go over here, I can show it off real quick. You have to hop a minecart, top of the mud, you have a rail below, remove the top rail here, then just sink through. Okay, so when it sinks through, it lands here on the detector rail. Um, this triggers the sticky piston here, which would push out the next rail. And if the minecart will drive off again, this causes the sticky piston to retract the rail again. So it's ready for usage for the next time. Okay, so when the last minecart arrives at the end, then we just trigger this redstone dust line here, 
which opens all of the fence gates, uh, sorry, uh, all of the trapdoors. And then the Michaels can go through. They would then just drop down here perfectly on top of the trapdoors. And yeah, here we just also launch the flying machine. Let's just trigger this red sun dust line. Okay, then. Yeah. The flying machine harvests all the sugar cane. It's actually also really nice to watch. It's like a harvester. Uh, very similar to it. So at the end, because of the push limit, can't push any further. Flying machine flies back. The minecarts drop down. And we just activate this repeater line here. And one fence gate after the other is opened. Okay. So in case you're actually not using a, a six wide pusher here in front, you would also need to use some obsidian blocks here in the back to just stop the flying machine. But yeah, push limit works out pretty nicely. So here we just use two hoppers actually for the minecart unloader. Just a technical reason if you would have the first one directly pushing to the side, then it takes a bit longer to actually get rid of the minecart. And while a hopper transfers items, it can't pick up items from above. So what actually happens is, so this hopper would pick up the hopper minecart, the item gets immediately sucked up by the hopper below, so you could already um, yeah, use this again after 8 ticks, instead of after I think 15 or 16 ticks. So this double hopper setup just makes it a little bit faster. So one thing you would need to do in case you want to increase the width of the farm, this would be to put an appropriate amount of hopper minecarts in there. Right now it's 24 wide, so we got 9 plus 4 plus 10, 24 minecarts of course. Unfortunately there's one downside, because of the rail and minecart behavior, the farm is directional. So you should yeah, build it facing east, or you can also build it facing west. So the reason why it has to face this way is, minecarts have the tendency to push each other if they are lined up the north-south axis, so as you can see here. Actually, the game is frozen. <laughs> so yeah, let's try it again. You can see the, the minecarts push each other. And that's quite annoying. And yeah, even if you would drop them down here, they would line up nicely. You can also place some blocks here on the side, show this off this direction, and why this is so annoying. So here they would just push each other to the side. So this is important for, for them dropping down here. So one more thing, in case you decide to build this farm facing west instead of facing east, this rail behavior is also directional, so the minecarts would always prefer to go towards south. And you might need to either yeah, place this on the other side in case you build it the other way, um, or you can also just, in case they go the wrong direction, just have them all go this way and then loop them around go this way. Alright, but if you mirror this farm it should also be fine. Oh yeah, one more thing in case you're curious, a farm of this size here, which is definitely not gigantic, but produce around 1600 sugarcane items power. But instead you can always scale it up if you need more. So I'm also using the 41 minute clock, which is ideal in my opinion, but in case you're using something like a 5 minute clock, you would get a tiny bit more. Alright, so that's it for today. In case you wanna check out the farm, there's a word download in the description. Thanks guys for watching and see you next time. Bye bye.